What's up, y'all? We back with another video. It's your boy D, the most coolest man in hip on YouTube. And today, I'm gonna just get right into the video because I got a lot of talking to do. It's a review today on the tech. Oh, well, I'm about to say tech. My bad, guy. If y'all been keeping up with my channel, y'all know I have the Nate Robinson tech uh, mini hoop go, but this is not the tech today, guys. This is, as you see in the thumbnail, as you see in the title, this is the just in time uh mean hoop go and i'm i, I haven't invoked the seal on it yet y'all see i'm about to break the seal on it now and i'm about to do a whole on uh i'm about to do a whole review on this go i'm about to put it together and all that and then i'm gonna do some shooting on it and let's let's see what's going on with it but um yeah y'all hey i've been waiting on this go to come in like i've been looking forward to it so now y'all can get the legit comparison of uh the two top brand goals in the game right now. We know y'all know the Nate Robinson tech meaning who, and y'all know the Justin Time. They say the Justin Time. They say the, the Nate Robinson copy Justin Time. So we gonna see what's up with Justin Time because if y'all been following my channel, y'all see, y'all see. Uh, I don't get that 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 tech. No, no mercy, y'all. I'm going in. So we're gonna see if this strong is is as strong as the tech. Or better, or uh, stronger. But right now, uh, and I'm gonna pretty much give y'all my eyes on everything. And I can tell you right now, this is gonna be a lot of hardware to put together with. But starting off with the, they got this stuff wrapped out, look nice and neat. But hold on. And this size right here is just the, uh, well, they don't got them by size, they got them by name. This is called, this is the first one, this is the smallest one. Um, the link will be in the description too for these goals. It will be in the description for this goal and my other goal, the tick. But right now, we, it's all about just the time. They're not cheap. I'm going to tell you that now. They're not cheap. That's the one thing I can say about this goal versus that one. And I'm going to do a lot of talking in this video, which I don't like doing, but it's a review, so I got to say much. I got to say something. I'm going to go to the backboard. This is the backboard. This should be like, I don't know the measurement, but y'all y'all can click the link in the description and y'all go ahead and get it. They take that right to it. Y'all can figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But I'll let y'all know. I'll let y'all know the sizes. Just stay tuned to the video. But here's the backboard right here. This is the rim and the backboard. Like this thing is this thing is right here. This ain't no this ain't no plastic. This ain't no none of that. Here we the nets right here. You know, some nice looking silky nets. It comes with a ball, of course. You got your just in time little basketball. And then I guess it just I guess. I hope this is, is all the hard work we need right here. I hope that. And I got the tools for this, but I hope this is all we need. Then you have your rim. I think that's everything in the box. And get some cushion that goes around the rim, around the backboard. Put that stuff to the side, but this rim right here, this ain't no plastic rim. This ain't none of that cheap stuff. This is real, you hear that? Steel, metal, whatever you want to call it. This that real heavy duty right here. And it got the breakaway spring in it so you can dunk on it. But we're going to put this thing together. We're going to see what it's really about though. So it's already the similarities to the, the Nate Robinson one is real similar when it comes to the actual rim. It's the exact same rim, the, the material and all that. So like to me, honestly, looking at this diagram is easier to me. Looking at this diagram, I can see how things go together. So basically, uh, we're gonna put this part of the thing right here. We're gonna put it at the top of the rim of the backboard like that. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so boom, this the backboard. The holes line up perfectly, like identical. They perfect right here. There's two holes in here. There's four holes up here, but these two line up perfectly. And that goes in there, obviously. And the bolts used for those will be um, these smaller ones. There's two of them here. There's two of them. Use these smaller ones to go into the top of there right there. Boom. You put the smaller ones up there. And you put the washer on the back of it. That's all you got to do first step. Take your supplies and take your screwdriver. Hold the back of it like this. And you just twist the, uh, the screw in. That's way easier. Way easier. We're going to attach the backboard to this is the wall mount. This mounts to the wall. I got four screws in there. You got to take them out. And the four screws, it's going to go like this. The line up, the holes line up perfectly. Make sure it's facing vertically like that. And you put it on like this. Take the screws out. You put them in on this side. 
like this. Exactly like this. Um, I wonder should I put this up against the wall first? All right, kids. Look, all jokes aside, kids, children. Y'all won't have to get y'all parents to do this. That's y'all got to get your parents to do this because this is that serious. Even adults, y'all gonna have to get your homeboys or somebody help y'all with this. But look, this is the way I found it easier to do. Uh, I'd hurt my finger in the process and everything, but mount it on the wall first where you're gonna put it at. I'm gonna put it right here. It's because you're gonna have to find your studs in the wall so you don't do a duck and just tear down your whole wall. And you got to find a pretty tough spot. That's a pretty tough spot right there. So what I think is easier is what I do, what I'm gonna do is what I do, what I'm doing. I'm gonna mount it up, I'm mounted up here. That's why I'm gonna put the goal at right there. I made sure that the ceiling clearance and the uh, goal was fine. So I don't put it at pretty much the highest I could possibly put it uh, for it won't hit the ceiling, but that's pretty much high right there. It's higher than my uh, tech go right there. It's a little bit higher, but I put that right there first and then I'm gonna come behind it and I'm gonna put the goal. I'm gonna attach the goal to the bracket. You know what I'm saying? The wall mount. I'm gonna attach these four bolts to these four holes first. Then I'm gonna go to the top and mount the top one down. So that's how I'm gonna do it. That's the final, that's the way I found it easier to do it. Cause if I put all this together, if I would have put this on the back of this and that on the back of that, there would be no way I could get to this inside bolt right here. That is that one with that bolt right there with this being attached to the goal. So put it on the wall first. Don't put it on the goal first. Put it on the wall first. Like I said, if you put it on there, how is you gonna get to that boat right there with this rimming away? So mount it up first. Um, and mount this on first like this. Just do it exactly like this. Put this on first on the rim. Put that on the wall. Attach these four bolts to that on the wall, and then your last one will be the top one that will line up perfectly up there. Whew! But. Guys, I'm trying to tell you, and I had to get my leveler from my camera right here to make sure it was even. But look, it's there. It go. And so I got it pretty much close to even. So now what I gotta do, guys? I gotta remove this bolt from here because I'm trying to remove this rim from this orange thing because it's hard to get the bolts inside here. And you can see what I'm saying. These bolts right here has to go in here like this. That's how that's how we gotta go, but it's impossible, almost almost impossible to screw it in from this end like that with this rim away. So I'm removing the rim. I'm removing the rim from this. All you gotta do is take this bolt off, and this whole silver thing comes out. All right. Now I got the bolt out. Now I got that removed. Now all I have to do is just remove this bolt and I can get the spring off so I can get to that. Uh, I can get to this piece right here. See, it's stuck. So now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. Take this, come over here. Pretty much line these holes up with this one. Uh -oh. Line these holes up with this one and line it up with them two. So then you can put all four of the bolts in there easily, all four of them. Just line them all up. There's four holes in each one. Four right here, four right there, and four right there. And then you can easily do it. Then you put it all back together. That's all you gotta do. Now you see how what I'm saying is totally, it's way, way easier. Now all I have to do is, is put the round all back together, back on here, like I took it off. And then I gotta just put the nets on, and then we is good. It's looking good so far, I like this. I like how it looks so far. Let me finish it up and I can talk about it. All right guys, the goal is 100% complete. <laughs> It's look, it look real good up here. It's nice up here. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It look real nice up here. Before I shoot around, I'm gonna let y'all know what I don't like about this gold. I'm gonna let y'all know what I don't like.
the the installment, the uh, whatever you want to call it, the putting it together. It's too much. I didn't have that much with this. With this gold, guys, all I did was pretty much similar. Was put the room together. I didn't even have to take all this stuff apart to even put this these little bolts back there like that. You see, you know what I'm saying? Versus this one, but um, I'm gonna get more in detail. I'm gonna do a real, real comparison between these two goals. And don't look at the side. This is a bigger goal. This is a bigger version. They have a smaller version in this one too. Uh, like I said, y'all, this is the Nate Robinson. Link is in the description for this one if y'all want the tech. But the just in time. Uh, I, I don't have a which one's better or not yet, but I just don't like the installment. It's too much. I mean, it's not a lot, but for a little kid, I can see how y'all would have a hard time with that. That's uh, that's a little kid cannot put this together by itself. And if you can, this one of them kids don't like me when he was younger, but um, when I was younger, but um, I love I, this. Ain't no cheap stuff over here. Ain't no cheap stuff. This is all hard steel, metal, whatever you want to call this stuff, and it's it's, it's sturdy. It's real sturdy. This thing is like it's stuck up there. It's stuck. As long as you find your uh, your little wood slats behind the wall, your studs in the wall, and you nail these things, screw these things in there real good, you should be good to go. I can probably put that one in a little deeper, but you should be good to go. It got three supports. There's one right here, one right here, and there's that last one I put up there. And like I said, put it together the exact way I put it together. Exactly the way I did it was so... You, if you got this, watch this video, put it together the way I did it, exactly the way I do it. Don't skip nothing. Like, like exactly how I showed you, you do it that way. And one big thing I do not like, another big thing I do not like, it, it's not that, it's stiff. It's not as, I'm going to show you, as loose as this. So, look at this. This gives me more room to dunk and be, to be uh, more confident confident with my dunks i just feel like if i just come up here and slam this real hard i'm just going to snatch this whole thing down and i don't want to do that but um what i may end up doing i may just take this spring out because you see this is a nice spring right here guys that spring is legit like i may take this spring out of here and put it on there because this right here is not going to work for me i can't use that's the only thing that's the biggest thing i would say i don't like about this goal that's it that's pretty much the biggest thing that really matters is that the installment okay whatever but this really matters to me because i dunk hard see some of you little kids y'all probably don't dunk as hard as me but i want my goal to last because i spent some money on this thing and i don't want to break it so and the reason why i didn't change it out as i was installing it because you see i took that out i could have put it on because i wanted to make this a fair review of um a legit review of this gold with as is original O M E O E M parts, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I thought I was gonna have a big deal with these nets because I don't like low nets that's short, but these nets are kind of pretty long, they're long, they're, they're, they're a good length. But, um, that's it though, that's the only thing I do not like is this, this rim is too stiff. Maybe I did something wrong or what, but I'm I don't know, but I just don't like that. But this is cool right here. I like the this accessory that's on here, this foam accessory. Other than that, that's I'm gonna get some shots in, and usually I use my own ball, but I'm gonna use the ball that it came with, which is uh, this one right here. It came with his own ball, I haven't pumped it up yet, but I'm gonna pump it up and I'm gonna use the ball that it come with. You know what I'm saying? Um, the rim is smaller from that one back there, but not that much. The ball I usually use, is, this is my ball I like to use right here, so um, it fits in there. It fits in there fine. You can tell these nets are brand new. Look, the ball getting stuck in there. But yeah, I can. I'm a pro, so I can make this. You know. See how stiff that is, guys. Y'all see how stiff that was. I don't. I don't like that. I don't really like that. But let me pump this ball up and get some. Sh let me pump this ball up and get some shots in. If I can get y'all that shot review right quick, and I'm gonna end this video because you know. So I want y'all to get a chance to click the link in the description so y'all can go ahead and go buy it yourselves and it come to y'all. It came me in two days.
Stay tuned to next Saturday, next weekend for my dunk video, guys. Next weekend, Friday and Saturday, I'm gonna actually do dunks on this go. I'm gonna bring it in the house. I'm gonna see how strong this go really is and see what withstand all my power and my pressure. Is it tougher than the tech or is it weaker than the tech? You know, is it easier? We don't know. I'm definitely gonna help you find out. It's your boy D, the most cruise man hoop on YouTube. And Chance, do you got anything to say before we go? Yeah. What you gotta say before we go? Um, you don't got nothing to say. Finn, do you got anything to say before we go? <laughs> Hit the like button, guys. Y'all stay tuned too. Y'all stay tuned. I appreciate everybody got me to 100 subscribers. And we out of here.